Hey there, I'm just about to install a uh, LMMS 1.3 alpha version. Let's see what's new in there. Here we go. Well, here it is. It just looks like 1.2. That is fine. The most interesting thing probably is Expressive, a new plugin. What does it do? It's a synth. Let's look at some presets. That is... What the heck? It's weirdly uh, unbalanced. So weird. Nice. Some drone-like lead, kind of. What are you doing on my left ear? Come on, man. It is a very strange how these instruments work, some of them. Like, I guess the preset makers decided, oh, better make some things they can't actually use in their music. Cloud bass. Yeah, sounds nice. So I guess the cool thing about this is that you can use math to express your waveform. Let's try it out, because I know so well what I'm doing. I'm just switching random numbers, in case you didn't know. Okay, okay, maybe 0. Point... Yeah, yeah. Does it sound different now? It sure does. More sawtoothy. Can we, like... What, 20? No? Nothing changes. Might help to... Ouch. Might help to understand what the formulas are. Oh, here we go. Ouch. Better? I don't know. <laughs> Freaking weird. Well, for math geeks, this'll be a joy, I believe. Not so great. That's a funny one, but a bit too filtered. <sighs> what is that? I don't know what's up with these things being dominant on spe specific ears. These these sounds need to be more mono. I enjoy that one. Are these hints new? So it's kind of cool. Yuck, no, and also get out of my left ear. Way too clippy. What is going on here? Uh, I don't I don't know. I mean I can control uh control Z to undo, that's pretty Pretty swell. Oh, what? This is nearly nice, but not really. <laughs> ah, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so that was expressive. You. <laughs> so the next cool thing, Bit Crusher allows non-integer bit depth. I assume we have to add an effect. Bit crush. It's not even called bit crusher. All right, let's go with uh, I don't know eight bit. And what about eight point five? Eight point nine. Three. Three point nine. If this is it, then uh, not much noticed. The Calf plugins have been updated. 
to 0.9. Spectrum Analyzer has been updated. What a nice thing. There's a new vector scope plugin. Okay, so it's supposed to give you a spatial image. Not sure it works. I guess in some way. When we export, we can now export to FLAC. Ain't that nice? I think it's nice. I mean, I think it would be nice if FLAC would be universally supported. But it's getting there, isn't it? We can now resize sample tracks from the left. This might be this. I'm not sure. As a free sound font supported now. Ghost note feature, which I'm not sure I do understand. Seems to me like a second layer for drum kits per instrument. Here's the uh, ghost note icon. Maybe uh, good for experimenting? I'm not sure. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, we can actually get real looped sections? Rendering looped sections multiple times on export. Now, I assume this would have to do with actually having a uh, loop, uh, how do you call it, leftovers in, at the beginning of the loop, so it's an actual loop. I don't think it's that. It adds, yeah, if we go to File Export, we can select how many times looped sections are rendered and there is no help for that. There are a bunch of other new features. Hey cool, they implemented an in-house portable mode, that is cool. Really good for schools and such. Never heard of Carla, certainly heard of Jack, didn't know it was on Windows. So there's a bunch of new features. And a bunch of uh, bug fixes, of course. <laughs> oh thank you, I'm glad they put the freaking search bar over here at the top and not at the bottom, I hated it back down there. Well, a lot of changes, both small and big. Have fun with the new version, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!